Hello everyone, this is Liam from CarPlay Direct and I'm going to show you how to do the USB update for the Mr. 12 volt kit inside my BMW 2014 M5 competition. Um, obviously this update process is exactly the same across all Mr. 12 volt models, the P2000 series, and obviously you use the USB that is on the main Mr. 12 volt power harness. Just for the sake of explaining, my USB cable from the harness has been run down the center con uh, console tunnel. Um, to an extension cable obviously which as you can see you have the USB ready to plug in um, so what you want to do is you want to go to the main Mr. 12 volt menu so if obviously you're on CarPlay back out to this menu then all you want to do is connect the USB stick obviously mine's here and it's ready to be pushed in um, this is I think a 32 gigabyte stick so anything between 8 gig and 32 gig is good uh, the larger the USB stick you may need to partition it uh, but I will show you how to load the files on in another video. But I'm just now going to pop the USB stick in and you should see a little box pop up. And as you can see, this will now search for configuration files on the USB stick. And as you can see, it's found them successfully and it's asking me to restart. So obviously I'm going to use my controller here to uh, actually restart by pressing OK. Once this is done, as you can see, the Mr. 12 volt kit will go off and it should come up with a little message saying that obviously the system upgrade is working and to obviously please wait. Um, I did this the other day, so I'm, I'm doing this again for the sake of this video, but this part took around 60 seconds for myself. So once the system upgrade is done, you'll see actually reboot and it will come up with the Mr. 12 volt logo. And then obviously it should boot into the system as normal as you can see there, and then you'll see another box pop up. I think this before took around 10 to 15 seconds to pop up for me. Yep, it's just come up. So factory configuration file found. Do you wish to upgrade? And you let the actual timer count down. It takes a little while and obviously it will come up with the message that it's successful. So I'm just going to stay on the video for you guys to see exactly what it does because you will need to follow exactly the same process there as you can see so as you can see it was successful at this point obviously you need to remove the usb so i'm going to do that now and then you need to go to restart so just scroll across and press ok that will do a final reboot of the mr 12 volt software I'll just stay on the video just so you guys can be familiar with the process. And as you can see, you know when it's successful because this icon here will change from car life to Android Auto. And as you can see, the update is now successful and complete. And also another way to confirm the update has been successful is you can go into settings and you can scroll down to system. Obviously, this is the same kind of menu on any car that you've got. And in here, you'll see five lines software hardware system bluetooth mcu and that will obviously confirm all five are present and the update is successful